Here we are again at Casa Marino in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. I'm here to make a house call to our last patient, Brian Jates from Colorado, uh, who came here because of a cervical spine problem. When we talked with him uh, and he sent his studies, we could realize that he was having a big problem in the cervical spine at four levels between C3, C4, C4, C5, C5, C6, and C6, C7. And uh, according to his symptoms, his questionnaire, his drawings, and all the explanation of his symptoms, um, we discuss, I mean we, my team and I, discuss his case and his problem, and decided to do a four-level disectomy with a fusion. We put cages in those spaces in order to decompress the spine canal, the nerves also did for aminotomy bilaterally between C3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, and 6, 7. And we put cages instead of the disc to make a fusion there. We did that because uh, when you have more than two levels affected, there is a recommendation not to put a cervical prosthesis because they fail a lot. So instead of that, we make the fusion with cages and a bone matrix in order to gain the fusion. The patient has been doing well. We're expecting to do x-rays for control in two months and see how he's doing about fusion. Right now, his former symptoms about pain and numbness and uh, loss of strength in his arms uh, has become better. He's feeling fine, and we are very satisfied with the results. Right. As it's been. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, it's getting better. Much better. But the, it looks great. I mean, the, the, the scar looks perfect. Mm -hmm. It's nice and clean. You don't have any, any signs of infection? You haven't had fever? No. no. Not headache? No. Okay. In this kind of surgery, we just spread the tissues. Right. We, don't, we only cut one muscle here, this most superficial muscle, mm -hmm. which is called the platysma, and that's the only muscle we cut. The other ones, we just spread the tissues in order to, get, right. uh, to gain right. access to the cervical spine. So it will resolve. That's I great. think in two weeks, at most three weeks. That's so fine. I'm not we'll worried about that part. Yeah. And you're, you're uh, uh, swallowing normally? Uh, Pretty, pretty normal, yeah, 90% okay. normal. Okay, yeah. perfect, it's that's good, great. So, what do you have before surgery? Pain where? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I had pain across my back, okay. uh, my upper back, my shoulders. I remember you told me about yeah. your neck here and your upper back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was convinced I had a T, T2, T3, T4, T5 problem. Okay. Uh, we looked at the films and there was nothing there. Nope. Uh, you said it was probably just because of the curvature of my neck. Yep. Um, I think yesterday was the first day I really feel the relief of the correction of the curvature okay and what that has done for the rest of my back i can i can I have muscles moving now that i haven't moved in years okay. because of the the different shape right yeah. okay um and and uh claudio the physical therapist has been amazing yeah that's uh, a great guy the strength in my in my right arm which had gone maybe 30 40 percent of what it was at one time because of my neck uh -huh. you know right after surgery it was it was Right back, I could feel the strength in my in my grip in my arm. Yeah, that's great. The pain in my my forearm, uh, the tingling in my my uh, fifth and fourth fingers gone okay. uh, right away, and uh, uh, I can feel those muscles working again. So we didn't have permanent damage there. Okay, uh, I was great. so excited for that. Um, the pain in my elbows and the biceps, uh, because it was so many levels, right, that were affected. Mm -hmm. yep. and all yeah. those were symptomatic in my arms, yep. uh, in my shoulders. All resolved. Thank you. Thank you so much. My, my pleasure. Yeah. What about this one? Uh, getting stronger. It's still not as strong as it was. A you know, pitcher of water is tough to, to lift up. But okay. a week ago, a, t a glass of water was tough to lift up. Okay, so you're gaining strength. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, and I think that's just the irritation of the nerve. Okay. Yeah. What about 
paint here. You're still stiff a little bit. A little stiff, but yeah. um, I had my shirt off the other day and, and Carla looked at me from the back and you used to be able to see how I, I curved. Uh -huh. She said, not that. anymore. No. Right? Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah, like it's straight or almost completely straight. What about the movement? You haven't lost anything. Uh, a little bit. Not really. I mean, I'm being very careful. I don't. Okay, yeah. I, you have to. Yeah. You don't want me to try and go farther, do you? Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> Maybe in one month. But you know, one I can. Month. I can do this, no problem. Okay. Uh, that's the C2, C3. I don't think I have much motion in C3 through seven before anyway. Okay. No. Uh, not at all. Yeah. Um, so I don't feel like I've lost much at all. Any fear I had of, of, you know, being like a robot? Nope. No. No Great. worries. No worries. So you're satisfied with the surgery? I'm more than satisfied. Wow. Yeah. Dr. Simone. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Between Greg and you and, and everyone on the team, it was just so smooth. You know, I, I like having a little bit of control over what happens, and I feel like I had that. A lot of people think that... Uh, other than the United States, there are no surgeons in the world or there are no good treatments other than the States. And you can tell now by your own experience that yeah. this is something. Yeah. No, there's world-class surgeons all over the world. Yeah. I course. think the best one is right here in Querétaro and San Miguel. You now know. I do know. <laughs> You're world-class, Dr. Salon. Thank you. I'm so pleased. I'm yeah, pleased. Yes. Thank you. You changed my life again. Thank you. Yep. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Gregory Pope, founder of SpinalSurgeryMexico.com. Today I'm with Brian Yates. Today is December the 18th, 2021. The weather here in San Miguel is absolutely beautiful. But we, I wanted to, to let Brian talk to you and tell you about his experience and being here in San Miguel. The doc, uh, Dr. Simone was just here to visit him, but he can expound a little bit on being here at Casa Marino, his uh, accommodations here, the city of San Miguel, his experience, how he liked it. And we, we want to be able to try to help anybody we can. And thank you for watching the video. Hi, I'm Brian Yates from Colorado Springs, Colorado. My story started about 35 years ago when I had an accident tried to fly a three-wheeler and landed on my head. Since then, I've suffered from neck pain, headaches, back pain, and I just dealt with it, as many of us do. It finally became time to seek out some help. Uh, I talked to surgeons all over the world about what I might need as far as surgery goes, uh, cost, um, and who I felt comfortable based on what they, when they looked at my films and my studies, did, did it agree with what I thought needed to be done based on my experiences, what my body was telling me, Greg and I talked on the phone. I talked to Dr. Simone three times. He was very kind and very gracious to answer every question I had before I ever committed to actually paying money and coming to Mexico for surgery. I believe that there are world-class surgeons all over the world. And I think some of the best are right here. Uh, whether luck or uh, fate, I believe Dr. Simone was the absolute right doctor for the surgery that I needed. Uh, talking to him about my studies, he said, I had the neck of a 95-year-old. And when he got in there, the, uh, the neck was apparently worse than he thought. But he was well-equipped um, to handle that. From the time that we decided to do this, uh, and I say we, my wife and I, uh, in Colorado, decided to come to Mexico for spinal surgery. Uh, and speaking with Greg, he was very accommodating. He answered every question. He was gentle reminders about things on timelines and uh, studies that we needed to complete. He was very reassuring about, about Mexico itself, about the, the accommodations, both at the hospital and how that would all go. From the time that we got left the plane in Caretro, uh, we were welcomed by a very friendly face, a Bernardo, um, who, who welcomed us and I felt immediately a friendship with him, a kinship. We stepped outside under the curb uh, and our bags were loaded into a back of a very nice suburban. We felt like VIPs and I felt like locals were thinking, who are these people? Are they movie stars? Uh, that's how we felt. Um, we, we, we drove through the streets of Cretro to the hospital directly to Star Medica, uh, where Dr. Simone was waiting for us and welcomed us. Uh, this is unlike any experience I've ever had before anywhere. 
um, where the surgeon himself welcomes you to the hospital, uh, assures you that things are going to be okay, uh, personally ushers you to the, the desk where they register you and check you in. Um, the accommodations, they took us to the, the fourth floor to a suite, which was really a, a combination of a very nice hotel and a surgical recovery room, uh, where my wife stayed uh, in a, on a bed <coughs> uh, in the other room um, for three days. And, and we were both very comfortable, had everything we ever met. It was quiet. We constantly remarked how quiet it was. Uh, we were not constantly interrupted by nurses, but we had everything at our fingertips that we might need. Um, the meals were incredible. Uh, she actually explored a little bit around the hospital. Uh, you know, it's so easy to get around and, and people are so friendly everywhere. The day we got there after the registration, uh, we did a, I, was, I was spent three and a half or four hours in an in a MRI machine getting a full spine MRI. Uh, almost unheard of. Uh, that was included in everything that we did. And Dr. Simone and I sat down later that evening to review both the x-rays that they had taken and the MRIs uh, from, from the bottom of my of spine to the very top. Uh, we looked at every level and every angle. Uh, he assured me that, that what we had planned was the right course of action. We looked at some other areas that were potentially uh, issues or could be issues in the future. Uh, areas that I already assumed and, and thought I knew, um, but it was so great to actually see them and address that instead of being just told, this is your problem, we're going to fix it, and, and talk to like I don't know anything. Um, I like to research, I like to, to look at things. Uh, I'm a physicist, I'm an educator, I like to learn. Uh, I'm also from Missouri originally, so show me. Uh, I'm stubborn, and so when you show me and we ask questions, I understand, that's when I feel comfortable. And that's what I felt when Dr. Uh, Simone left that evening. The next morning, I was wheeled into, into the preparation room for surgery. Uh, I saw Bernardo. Uh, I, I spent 15 minutes talking to the anesthesiologist, uh, Edmundo. Um, I knew that there were several neurosurgeons in the room. I knew there was a, uh, several people who were providers for the prosthesis, the cages that I might need in my neck. Uh, and Dr. Simone had asked, uh, quite a few to be there, not knowing that if he would need one or the other or a combination of them. Uh, I was just impressed that he was not locked into one provider um, and one, one methodology for the surgery. I was convinced that he wanted to do what was right for, my, for me and my spine. Uh, surgery was over and uh, recovery. He came to see me himself um, along with uh, other, other medical people. Uh, nurses and other doctors on the floor, um, constantly checking on me to make sure that everything was good. Uh, I can't tell you how good I felt immediately after the surgery. Um, and I don't think that was the drugs talking. It was uh, strength in my arms where the strength had been lost, numbness that was restored to feeling, tingling that was no longer there. Um, you know, it was, it was uh, I was cautious and optimistic about what had just happened and the corrections that had been done. Three days of recovery in the hospital. Uh, seeing, I saw Dr. Simone at least once a day, if not twice or three times, I think one day. He came to check on me and, and check on progress. Um, we then left the hospital and came to Casa Marina in San Miguel, about uh, 40 miles away. Um, what a wonderful city this, the city of San Miguel is. Uh, I just remarked to my wife this morning how nice it's been not to drive or need to drive for two weeks. Um, we've not needed it. We've walked to the city center, we've walked to the market, we've walked to uh, little cafes and boutiques. Um, and I know I'm not here on vacation, but uh, it feels almost like vacation as I recover, which makes recovery extremely easy, extremely comfortable. Um, there has been pain uh, in the muscles as they readjust. But I have to give props to uh, Claudio, who is the physical therapist. Um, Claudio has been so responsive and so attentive to my body and to what I sell him every day, along with the plan of action from moving the lymph material to stretching to strengthening. Uh, and it's been a progression over the last 10 days that he has stuck to religiously. Uh, his persistence being here every day, including Saturdays and Sundays, uh, twice a day, 
um, to, to move me along in this process. A process I really could have used a year ago when I had my lower spine fused. Um, I had none of that. And not to, I'm not gonna throw American medicine under the bus, but uh, when, I, when you're not dealing with insurance and you can get what you need when you're not dealing with insurance. Uh, Claudio has been giving me everything I need and moved me so much farther along. I feel so confident in my ultimate recovery. Um, my wife remarked this morning that uh, I look 10 years younger because the pain was not in my eyes and uh, drawing my face out. Um, I'm so pleased with the overall experience. I'm so pleased that I chose this surgeon and this experience over the half dozen others that I interviewed and spoke with surgeons. Um, I was just was not confident in what they were seeing. Um, so whether through fate or luck, uh, I believe I'm in the absolute right place. And I believe this place will be right for anyone seeking uh, spinal surgery. Um, if you need it, you need it and you know it. Greg Pope and his team are top notch. And I do not use the team, the word team loosely. They act as a team, they work as a team. I've never seen communication among people so, so tight. These guys, uh, they communicate with each other. They, uh, there's no, no gaps. Um, they anticipate everything you might need and respond to anything you might ask. Um, what a beautiful place to recover. And I believe beauty is an important uh, part of recovery. You'll find it here in San Miguel. At Casa Marino, the place of, of recovery, uh, we had our own bedroom with, uh, with two beds, big enough. We could have both slept in one, my wife and I. Um, it was nice to have two where um, if I wasn't feeling well, I could go to the other bed. Um, uh, so, such a nice place. I didn't expect to have my bed made up for me in such plush accommodations. Uh, really is a private home uh, that equals any, any of the nicest hotels in the world. Felicia, who is here, she cooks two meals a day for you that are outstanding. Um, the meals are just uh, top notch. Casa Marino is two stories. It's part of a townhome. Um, one side is ours, and I physical therapy was upstairs in a living room next to a fireplace. Uh, it was so comfortable and so personable. Uh, the um, it, it's so fun to be here in a home and not in an impersonal hotel. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything more. It's on a very quiet street, very quaint, uh, as all the streets almost are here in, in San Miguel, uh, within walking distance of an absolutely amazing botanical park where uh, I've sat many hours in the sun just to, to watch people and sit in the sun and enjoy the beauty around me. Um, you know, Casa Marino is a very special place. I hope you enjoy it.